Ah, children. Not only are they fantastic flesh containers for our DNA, they're also just, you know, cute. They have these gorgeous, plum little cheeks and they're so cuddly. Yeah, when it goes south, it really goes south. I was holding my two-year-old as he punched me in the face, ripped my ears. He was putting his fingers in my eye. And the problem is this. What is the problem? What do they want? Honestly, a decent-sized crayfish calms me down every time. But kids aren't adults. Lots of times, they can't articulate how they're feeling or what they need. These are little kids with big feelings. With adults, when we have big feelings, you've got to get those big feelings out. We know to go for a run, or we know to have conversations. It can be quite anxiety-inducing for parents and caregivers. How do you calm things down? What's the safest approach? Usually now, if someone packs a tantrum, my husband and I will be like, ah, and we'll just do it back until they get pissed off and they usually just give up and walk away. <laughs> it's quite a nice idea. Thanks, Christine. Well, mm. let's hear now from Dame Sue Bagshaw, who's co-written a new book on this very topic. Dame Sue, what do you think of what I think was a tongue-in-cheek approach from Christine there? If your kid has a tantrum, just have a tantrum right back at them. <laughs> well, great, great role modelling <laughs> to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, speaking as a dad, there are times when one of your children gets so angry, it actually feels like they're out of control. What's the best thing, best first thing to do in that situation? The first thing you need to do really is control yourself. Because, you know, they know exactly how to break, press all your buttons. So the first thing is actually to not respond to that pressing buttons and just <sighs> breathe. Um, and then you can kind of get yourself calm, so that's a role model to actually help them calm themselves. So what I'm hearing is, uh, if you don't stop this, you'll get no ice cream, that threat's not going to work? Not really. Uh, same as the threat of just calm down, that doesn't work at all. <laughs> So I know you're an advocate for fun as a way to put a cap on, on a tantrum, but as a parent, that sounds like a lot of hard work for me. <laughs> what do I get out of approaching a tantrum with fun? Well, I think if you can get out... I think actually fun begets fun. If you can actually get in early, have some fun, but, you know, that often isn't possible. You're absolutely late for something, you're getting frustrated, you've got a thousand things to do and they're slowing you down. But at the same time, think of it from their point of view and actually, if you slow down, they'll slow down way quicker and then you'll be able to get on with your day. Can we, can we start even earlier? Is there prevention we can start even earlier to, to make sure children don't act out this way? <laughs> oh, look, spend more time with them, play with them, but remember, they are very concrete, very literal thinkers. They think with their emotions. So talking to the emotions is really helpful. If you start talking to the logical brain, you're out of luck. They're at once. So think a bit more like them. It's all about me. It's all about now. That'll be much easier for you. Um, and so since you're an expert in this field, I was just wondering if you know the correct way to serve a banana to a two-year-old. Uh, I just asked because I've tried uh, at least a thousand different things and it's still not right. And unfortunately, you may have a daughter there who um, likes everything just so and just right, which um, may be quite tricky. Um, so you might want to um, get her to realise that Bananas taste the same, whether they're mashed up, chewed up, or thrown at you. So, Bagshaw, thank you so much for your insights. Pleasure, thank you, and good luck to all the parents out there. There you go, I hope that helps. Welcome to the project, everyone. Comedian Guy, my Guy Montgomery joins us today. It's me, I'm here. Sorry, I just about got your name wrong then. Guy Montgomery. No, it's no trouble at all. Welcome back to the project. It's so good to be back. Yeah. I really enjoyed all of the advice on how to deal with children having a tantrum, but yeah. I'm wondering if any of you have insight into how to deal with co-hosts in a toxic workplace. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking us that, Guy Montgomery? Yeah. I mean, the energy's obviously electric on the desk, but back there it's a disaster. <laughs> I reckon one of the solutions is food. We discovered with one of our children that um, got it from daycare, which was a big day, and then to the supermarket. Big meltdown. 
and we discovered that it was because we didn't feed her. So immediately we'd get her from daycare, give her a little bit of food, and then that would, that would yeah, it's yeah. hangry. It got hangry, it couldn't tell us. Which is fine until food itself becomes the issue because you peeled it too far down the banana. Oh, the banana, And yeah. then it was supposed to be cut into pieces. <laughs> and, you need to you do... Know, you're trying to do all the things, like, you're feeling, you're feeling mad about the banana. You're feeling angry that the banana is wrong. And you're just like... <laughs> She's just particular about her food. I, yeah. I don't like to um, complain about about having four children because it was our choice, sort of. But, um, <laughs> as a multi-child dad, it makes a tantrum child very difficult to deal with because you're, you're trying to deal with a child having a tantrum and all three other children are working against you. They're, Correct. They're mocking you, they're mocking the child, they're basically just getting in the way. It's, it's horrendous. Mm. It's really fun to do as a young child, though. <laughs> or as an adult, you know, I'll see you telling off the kids, I'll join in. Yeah. I'm really getting over it, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Stay out of my home. <laughs> um, weird. Look, if you want some real good, solid advice, Sue's book is called Calming Your Child. It's available from numerous booksellers and uh, we have details on our Facebook page for where to find it.